Hi everyone. For my occupation-based toolkit, I've decided to do dishwashing. Um, the two populations I would like to focus on that might benefit from this kit are an autistic child or even an autistic adult that has sensory processing issues. Also, potentially someone who has suffered from a stroke with upper extremity deficits. Um, so the items included in my kit are a small plate, a bowl, a cup with a large mouth opening, a water bottle with a screw cap and a small mouth opening, a spoon and fork, and then dish soap, a scrubby sponge, a dish cloth, a bottle brush or just a scrub brush, and then rubber gloves. And then in order to complete this activity, you either need to be at a sink, but later on I talk about um, an adaptation where potentially that if you don't have a sink within like where this toolkit is going to be used, you could fill up the bin that my toolkit is based off of with water and complete the activity in there and it have the same effects. All right, so different ways to grade up and down this activity. So for someone with a stroke, potentially a grade down would to be used the, having to use the rag for all the dishes because using a rag to clean the dishes is a lot less fine motor. Um, so then the grade up on that would be to have to switch between the scrub brush for the glasses and then potentially the sponge for maybe the bowls and having to use the different sized items to um, clean the dishes. So then another grade down for someone with a stroke would to be using the rubber gloves. I bought rubber gloves that have grippies on the hand. Someone with a stroke might not have a great grasp. So this helps stabilize the dishes as they clean. Um, and then the grade up for that would be to just use your bare hands. Another grade down for someone with a stroke would be continuously using just like flat dishes or dishes with like a wider opening, so maybe a bowl, versus um, grading that up, having to use more fine motor and use something such as the water bottle with the smaller mouth opening, which forces fine motor and having to get the brush in there and clean. Also, this water bottle has a screw cap on it, um, and it takes some more processing and coordination to be able to screw it and get it off while still stabilizing the bottle. All right, now for someone maybe with autism, a grade down would to be using the rubber gloves again because kids with autism may, or sensory processing issues, may be really sensitive or trigger is touching different items. Um, so this kind of take, eliminates that. Um, and then grading up would again to be just using their bare hands and um, allowing them to touch everything as needed. Another grade down would for someone with autism would be doing just plain water, maybe like lukewarm water with the activity versus a grade up would be soapy water because soap is kind of a weird texture and that again could be a trigger for someone with sensory issues. And then different ways to adapt this activity, like I said before, if there's no sink, you could fill this bin up with water and this could pretend to be the sink and then you could use different tools to clean the dishes. Um, Another great or adaptation would be you could sit down and do this activity at a sink. Maybe you could pull up a stool. As you can see, I'm at my sink and it's about my waist level. So I could use um, one of my stools over here to sit and do dishes. Maybe for someone who has a lower extremity issue or um, they give out very easily. So that could be another adaptation. Also, um, you could take this bin to a table and with the water in it and then someone could be forced to sit down that way as well. Um, another adaptation would be just the different tools that you use to clean the dishes. You could change them. So this scrub brush is probably going to be a lot easier for someone with upper extremity issues or maybe arthritis or carpal tunnel with their hand because it is thicker and wider versus the rag which takes actually kind of like you have to have a a greater grasp but not a harder grasp if that makes sense to use a rag. Um, 
So those could be different adaptations just by changing the different tools used. There's several different things you can use for dishwashing as I've presented here. Um, and then I also said that rubber gloves could be an adaptation because someone with sensitive skin might be irritated by dishwashing. Um, these rubber gloves kind of, they go up most all the way in their arm and they're reusable. So it kind of takes away from maybe anyone who has skin issues. I did also buy um, the Dawn like hand renewal sensitive skin soap um, just because there are people who have issues especially with fragrances. So I said that could be different adaptations. But other than that, this is my toolkit and all the different things you can use within it for dishwashing as an occupation.